Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am playing in another new palette from Wayne Goss as well as two new eye coals. And as you guys know, or in case you guys are new here, Wayne is a really good friend of mine. So take that information as you watch through this video. And this was sent to me. I appreciate it. I appreciate Wayne and Beautylish. I say it all the time, but I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I absolutely love you and Beautylish. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And again, thank you for letting me demo the products. It is just so much fun to do and it is a huge, huge honor. All right, I'm gonna stop the gushing and I'm gonna open this beauty right now. As per usual, it has the beautiful silver packaging that I have kind of destroyed because <laughs> I couldn't get this one to open up. I don't know why, I had to get a knife and I was like, open, I was so excited. When it came to my door and I got through the Beautylish packaging, then it was just like, "Get, let me get in here, let me get in here. And here it is, again, black packaging for all of his palettes as well as his blushes and bronzers and highlights. And this one is called tourmaline or tourmaline which one is it tourmaline or tourmaline you guys let me know which one you say all right let's open it up you see this this is so beautiful it is like the fall plums it is a gorgeous shade range and what are we missing once again a black shade and i received a comment that was very valid and i wanted to point it out today Wayne had out two palettes, two palettes that had the black shade in both of them and he let everybody know that there was going to be a black in all of the palettes and he listened. Now I appreciate a black in a palette, I do, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, however, he took that criticism and somebody mentioned how many other makeup creators, let's say, actually listen, like stop doing so many of this, stop doing this, you what, you know, what have you. I was like, that is a really good point because it was only two palettes. So anywho, I'm rambling, I'm rambling, I know. This palette, just like the others, has a celestial shade. We have the satin shades, a slightly like, they have a satin, almost metallic. It's thinner than a metallic, a little bit more than satin. It's just beautiful. And then the matte shades in here as well. What's different about this one is the celestial shade. This one is thinner. So if you're used to, let's say, pearl moonstone, this one has a lot of opacity to it. This one is for people that want to have less shimmer. So this one is not going to be as opaque. I don't know if you can tell on my eyes. It's just a softer, softer celestial shade. So keep that in mind if you love the zhuzhed up sparkle. Of course, you could go in with an adhesive if you wanted to, but this one is softer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys these swatches along with the two new eye coals in Tiger's Eye and Copper Flame. I love the colors that he chose for the eye coals. They just go so well with the palette and then they're very, very fall. I, I really like them and I used both of them in the looks today. So I did three different looks. This one right here, it'll be the last look that I do, as well as one that's a little softer, but then I have the little bit heavier of liner, as well as like one of my favorite things, a smoky eye. So I'm doing three different shapes with these and then different intensities as well. Without further ado, let's jump into the looks and then I'll give you guys my two cents. For the first look, I'm gonna start off with a Wayne Goss number 18 and shade two. I'm gonna put this directly into my crease. This is a sheer formula. It has a nice shine to it. And I think it's, I think this is a satin. <laughs> I could be wrong, but the reason why I'm putting this into the crease first is because I don't want the darker shade that I'm about to use to be as deep as it can be. Having this lay down first will lighten the other shade. I'm gonna build this up just a hair. The shade on the lid is beautiful, especially if you have problems with things that can kind of make your eyes look crepey. This will not do that, but of course, as you can see, I'm using it in my crease, and I do not believe in no shimmers or satin shades in the crease. I personally love it. Wayne Goss number 19, shade four. I wanted this to be a little lighter, 
So I'm putting this right over top. I don't know if I even mentioned that. I brought that satin shade down on the outer corner. I'm sure you guys saw it, but I didn't really talk about it. And I am lightly blending this into the crease and slightly upward. I don't want this to be too dark. And I don't want it to be too smoky either. I want this to be a soft smoky eye instead of one that's a little bit more intense. So if you ever want to make a shade just a little bit lighter, put something satin underneath it. Same shade. See how much darker that is? <laughs> Same shade on a Wayne Goss number seven. I'm taking this back and forth, smudge it out a little bit, make it not as deep, but you saw like, the pigmentation is a lot darker when it's not on top of that satin. Just blending this out. On an Ikea Joy EO7, I'm taking the Celestial shade. I am tapping this on the lid and up into the crease. This Celestial is supposed to be a little bit thinner than the previous palettes, but it's still going to give you that really beautiful sparkle. And if you really wanted it to shine, you could apply a deep shade underneath and that will truly make it shine. You can also use your finger to apply this shade. But because I like to take it on the inner corner and press it up into the crease and whatnot, I just find it easier to use a brush. But that's just me. And also, my lid is not set, so the primer is nice and sticky. Going back in with that 19, just want to lightly add back in a little bit of the smokiness. It got covered up with the sparkle, but I did not add any additional product. Refer number 21, first shade, another satin. This one has a brighter shine to it. I'm using it on my brow arch. I could, I think I will use this as my highlight for today's look. Next up, I'm taking Tiger's Eye and I'm applying that all across the lid. Next up, I'm taking Tiger's Eye, the eye coal, and I am taking that all along the top lid. I'm also going to apply that to the lower lash line, but not as heavily. And then before this has a chance to set, this is an Esam V09. I am going to smudge this out. Back in with the Wayne Goss number no. 7, no additional product. I am just buffing right along the edge of that, and then I'm going to go add on inner rim liner and mascara. Sonia G Builder and I'm going to go in with shade number five. Starting off by packing this shade on the lid, I'm applying it to the lid first and then I'm going to go in with a blending brush and blend it but I want full opacity on the lid so I'm going to use a brush like this to get that full opacity, which you wouldn't get out of a blending fluffy brush. I'm just making sure I get it all the way up to the crease, but I'm not gonna pass it. It can be slightly messy right now, that's fine, because like I said, I'm gonna be blending upward anyway, but I just wanna make sure everything is covered all the way down to the lashes. Wayne Goss number 19, the same color. I'm going to slowly start working this upward in tiny little circular motions. Once there's less product on the brush, I will go in bigger circular motions as well as windshield wiper motions. I'm just trying to see how many times I can say motions. <laughs> I'm going to go in for a bit more, but still starting in the crease and then working upward. Takes a little bit more time. This is a deep shade, so you want to be careful with it. Take your time, don't rush through it, but it's also not a really hard look to do either.
Refer number three, again, same shade, working this on the lower lash line. We're going to go from inner to outer corner. Be smoking this down quite a bit, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Wang Goss 26S, first shade, applying this right at the brow arch, but then taking the excess right over the edges of that shade so that it kind of lightens them up, blends everything together, and it gives a highlighted effect to the brow. Refer number three, third shade, running this right along the top lash line, and I'm kind of going to bring it slightly upward. Just kind of want to add a little bit of depth, but not just like sticking to right at the lashes. I'm bringing it slightly upward. Also bringing it on the lower lash line. Back in with shade one, I'm just adding a little tiny bit of that on the inner corner, and then I'm gonna go add on inner rim liner and mascara. Wayne Goss number 18, shade four. I'm gonna start by packing this on the outer corner and outer half of the lid. As you can see, I'm going to be creating a halo eye and I'm starting with this shade first. Once I get this laid down on the lid, I am slowly, very slowly going to start bringing it upward on the outer portion of the crease and transition area. But this shade is super duper pigmented, so I wanna do it slowly. Making sure not to bring the shade in the very, very center of the crease because I wanna leave that blank. Same shade with the number 20. I'm applying that to the inner corner of the lid. Take the excess over this very outer corner before I start blending up very lightly, very cautiously. I'm actually gonna go in with my 18 and blend this out first and then add pigment back in as I need to. Just like bring the pigment from my lid upward. Once again, not connecting in the center. Going back in, just making sure that this is as deep as I want on the lid. Wayne Goss number six, shade two. I'm going to blend right around the edges of that last shade with this shade, basically doing the opposite of what I did with the first eye. <laughs> Same shade, now I'm going to apply it to the center where I have no product. A new Wayne Goss number 20 in shade three. I actually did this first on the other eye, but I forgot. <laughs> so I'm just gonna apply that on the outer corner and inner corner to add a little bit of depth and this little bit of purple hue. And then I am going back in with shade two. Blending right over the edges but the center will be the most impactful. Asum W21 in the first shade, highlighting the brow arch. A little bit on the inner corner, going in with the topper shade on my finger. I'm using this dampened so it'll be a little bit more intense and I'm gonna build it up just a little bit. Wayne Goss Copper Flame Coal Pencil. I'm taking this to the top. And then I'm also going to apply it kind of messily to the lower lash line before I blend it out.
refer number one to smudge that out. And then I'm gonna go add on inner rim liner and mascara. I finished off with liner on my top inner rim and mascara, called it a day and I love this. I love a halo eye in general, but this liner paired with these shades, I just think are so, so beautiful. I have to say, I think these are my favorite ones so far. Out of all of the ones that he has created, these two are my favorite. They glide on really nicely, they blend out really well, and I just absolutely love the colors. Now the palette, this one can't, uh, it can't pass up the last one. Pearl, Pearl is my favorite still, but this one is gorgeous. I love these shades in here, and I think that this one would pair really well with Pearl. And I wanted to show you that one anyway, because I figured some people would wanna see if this looks more gray on camera, this is more of like a brownish, slightly taupe, if that makes sense, like a taupey brown. If when you blend it out, it goes a little bit more gray, but when you pack it on, you can see a little bit more of the taupiness. Now let me find, yeah, this is Pearl. This one's my favorite, I love it so much but I'm gonna show you these side by side. These two palettes are going to go together so gorgeously. This is gonna be one that will zhuzh up this palette and make it just like a little bit more intense. And then if you like the plum shades with the pinky shades, oh, I, I mean, look at that. Look at those side by side. That is, that's just beautiful, beautiful. But I wanted to make sure you guys could see these. Like this right here is a matte, so it, it's on the blue. <laughs> There you go, you can see it. The blue stained my finger a little bit. And then this one, I actually am wearing this as a highlight right now. Hopefully I remembered to plug in a little bit of me applying this on my cheeks. This shade right here, let me put this down. This shade right here works perfectly for me for a highlight. It gives me a glow. It doesn't make me look like I'm, at least not in person. I don't know what it looks like on camera, but at least in person, it doesn't look like I have a gray cast or anything like that. I really like this shade. It has a soft, subtle pinkness to it. If you wanted to, you could take these shades or like this one and then put this on the lid if you didn't wanna have all the sparkle. And this one right here, I love how that one will blend out the edge of this one or going in with this one first and then making this one look less intense. For me, when I think about Wayne's palettes, I think more about different textures and playing with them. And I think he does textures really well. They're beautiful. I love all the eye looks I got out of it. Let me know if you guys have a favorite. And other than that, I don't have anything else to say other than congratulations. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up if you did, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.